The purpose of this video is to show you how to have more control over your life. Have you ever wished that you were a god and could control every aspect of your life and shape reality to fit exactly what you want? Were well, you closer to that than you think? Everyone knows the famous Spider-Man quote, with great power comes great responsibility. This video will show you the flip side, which is, with great responsibility comes great power. I will show you how changing your mindset to feel responsible for everything in your life is extremely powerful. So how do you do this? Well, there are two mindsets that you can choose to adopt. Which mindset you choose determines so much of your success. You can choose to have an internal locus of control or an external locus of control. A person with an external locus of control blames outside forces for everything in their life, while someone with an internal locus of control believes that everything in their life is a result of the actions they've chosen to take. Locus just means location, so locus of control means location of control. Let's go into more detail and explain the consequence of having each mindset. So mindset one, external locus of control. This is where you blame outside forces for everything in your life. This is a mindset that most people have. If something goes wrong, they are quick to point the finger at someone else. People with this mindset say things like, it's not my fault, there's nothing I could have done. They are full of excuses and constantly shift the responsibility onto other people. Some people adopt this mindset because they believe that they will seem more competent if they blame other people for a negative outcome because it stops them from looking bad. Other people adopt this mindset because it gives them an excuse to fail or to be lazy. The consequence of this mindset is you give up all responsibility and in doing so allow other people to control large aspects if not your entire life. This is such a disempowering mindset and although it's much easier it really doesn't help you. Because it is so common it's very easy for people to think that it's the best way to act. By choosing this mindset you're robbing yourself of the freedom you get from having full control over your life. Sigmund Freud said, most people do not really want freedom because freedom involves responsibility and most people are frightened of responsibility. Mindset two, internal locus of control. People with this mindset take responsibility for all the things in their life, both good and bad. They believe everything in their life is a result of the decisions that they have made. In bad situations, they take full responsibility for the outcome. They know the situation turned out badly because of something they chose to do. To most people, this sounds completely unhealthy. How can you keep blaming yourself? Surely you feel like shit. The aim of having an internal locus of control is not to make you feel bad and cause you to make changes because of feeling guilty. The aim is to show you just how much power you have over your life and how you create all aspects of your life. Winston Churchill said, the price of greatness is responsibility. By having an internal locus of control, you put yourself fully in control of your life because you take responsibility for everything. Here's an example to show the impact the two different mindsets can have. Meet Tim. Tim thinks life is shit. He has no girlfriend, hates his job, and earns very little money. Tim doesn't feel any passion for life. He has an external locus of control, so chooses to blame outside forces for the way his life is. He says the reason he doesn't have a girlfriend is because women aren't attracted to him, and that's because he was born ugly. Also, he believes all women are shallow and not intelligent enough to see what a great guy he is. Tim says the reason he has a bad job is because when he was at school, the teachers were not good enough, and he never received a proper education, which has limited his potential ever since. Tim also says his boss is ignorant and never notices the work that Tim does. If the boss was ever to actually pay some attention to what Tim was doing, he would definitely give him a promotion. That's why Tim doesn't earn much. He's waiting for his boss to finally notice him. Tim wants to become rich, but how can he do that when his boss doesn't pay him enough? Tim has no passion for life and often says to people, how am I supposed to feel passionate when nobody will give me a chance? So this is how Tim currently thinks because he has an external locus of control. Tim doesn't try anything because he's waiting for other people to help him out. One day, Tim hears about the concept of locus of control and decides to adopt an internal locus of control. Here's what happens. Tim takes responsibility for everything in his life. No girlfriend, shit job, no money, it's all because of Tim's actions. To begin with, this makes Tim feel terrible. He created this terrible life for himself, but then he has one simple thought. If I have the power to create all these negative things, I also have the power to create positive things. I'm at the centre of it all, so if I decide to make a change, then everything will change. Suddenly Tim has a huge sense of power and control over his life. This is exactly what an internal locus of control does. Knowing that he has so much power gives Tim a lot of motivation. Tim starts looking at each area of his life and decides he's going to make some changes. No girlfriend. Tim thinks about how he created this. He created this because he puts very little effort into his appearance. He's not the best looking guy granted, but he's also not the worst looking. Tim decides to take responsibility and thinks about how he can change this. He searches YouTube for advice on how to improve his appearance. He watches some videos and within a few weeks he started making positive changes. If you're looking for some good channels that will teach you how to improve your appearance, watch Alpha M and Bay Seuss. I've found them extremely useful. 
Tim also realises he's really unattractive because he is always so negative when he is around women. Even before they speak, he's thinking negative things about them, so he decides to stop this immediately too. Tim thinks about how he created the situation of hating his job. He disliked his job for a lot of years, but did nothing about it. With his new sense of power, Tim starts looking for a new job he really likes. He begins searching for one hour each evening, and within a week he's found quite a few he'd be really passionate about. When Tim got the interview for the new job, he had a lot more confidence than in the past. Also, Tim's appearance was better and his overall attitude was much more positive. Surprise, surprise, Tim got the new job. Tim was also earning more money at the new job, and due to his passion and sense of control, he quickly got promoted as well, which meant he had even more money. Tim now knew the amount of money he had was created by him, so he knew he could increase it. He listened to Rich Dad Poor Dad and The Richest Man in Babylon and learned about how to become wealthier and how to use his money to create more money. As a result, Tim did become much wealthier. Tim carried on learning about self-improvement and listened to life leverage as well. This created a lot more free time in Tim's life as he was much more efficient with his time. Tim spent his extra time socialising and met someone he really liked who was actually attracted to him because he was so positive and in control of his life. She quickly became his girlfriend. So Tim now has a great job, more money, more time and a girlfriend all just because of deciding to have an internal locus of control. So does this actually work? You're probably thinking that it all sounds like a fairy tale and isn't realistic. Well from personal experience I can confirm this definitely works. About a year ago now I was really depressed, sort of like Tim in the example. At that point I didn't know anything about self-improvement and I certainly wasn't thinking about a locus of control. But a simple thought popped into my head. I'd created so much shit in my life, I thought, it's all my fault, I've created all this terrible stuff. Suddenly I felt a huge sense of power, and I knew if I'd created all this shit in my life, I could also create really great things. And sure enough, within a few months, my life drastically changed, much like Tim's. So yes, this 100% works. You have to realise that you're a co-creator of your life. A great way to prove this to yourself is to think of something unusual that you do not normally do. Make that happen in your life. For example, I always wanted my own bow and arrow, so I went out and I bought one, and before I knew it, I was shooting melons in the woods behind my house with my friend. This obviously wasn't a normal activity for me, and so it showed me just how much influence I have on my reality. It's really simple, but while I was shooting the melons, I knew I could create anything I wanted, because all I had to do was make different decisions. It's a lot of fun when you realise just how much control you actually have. Here's a little challenge, try and make something happen that you don't usually do. Show yourself just how much you can shape your reality if you really want to. If you do try this and make something interesting happen, please comment it below because it genuinely makes me smile so much knowing that people are taking action. So, have an internal locus of control, take responsibility for everything, give it a try and see how it changes your life. I mentioned a few books in the example with Tim. They are really great, so if you're interested, I'll put links in the description. As always, if you have found value in this video, please give it a thumbs up and please share it with anyone you think would also get value from it. Thanks for watching, have a great day, I'll see you in the next one.